Ahoy hoy, I'm Planar Walk. Yeah, NASA. I, I'm not Planar Walk. He's not feeling well? I, all right. I, but the script says that I'm Planar Walk. But I'm MC Toon. Can I at least say I'm MC Toon? Okay. Super. Um, so, I'll yeah, I'll do a good job. I'll try. I'll try. Do or do not, there is no try. Okay, okay. I will do a good job. All right. Bye. Love you too. Ahoy hoy. I'm MC Toon. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Planar Walk's channel. I'm filling in this week for him because he's feeling a little under the weather and NASA told me to. Um, but it's also on my channel too. So enjoy this video on both channels. Today I'm covering somebody that gets a lot of things about 5G confused. She is a quantum healer, whatever that is, uh, by the name of Raylene Short. Hi friends, this is Raylene, and if you have no idea what Shungite is, feel free to watch my last live video I did maybe a month and a half ago or a month ago about Shungite. It, it, it has won a Nobel Prize. Well, we're not off to a very good start now, are we, Raylene? Uh, Shungite did not win a Nobel Prize. That typically goes to people, and it was in chemistry. But I'll get back to that in a second. Shungite is 98% carbon, which means it's basically really good coal. And it contains less than 0.001% fullerenes, or Buckminster fullerenes, which... That was what the Nobel Prize was for. In 1996, three guys won the Nobel Prize for discovering fullerenes or buckyballs. So why is that important for this? Well, it's not at all, but because it got a Nobel Prize somehow associated with it, Raylene thinks it's important. It has nothing to do with it, but that's great. Anyway, let's see what else she says. And my house is pretty well covered in Shungite. The kids and I, our house, everything's shielded from EMF. If you are having issues with, so this is the EMF detector. If you, it's taking the radiation on my phone right now. Uh, that meter's reading zero off your phone right now. It's kind of jumping all over the place. Are you sure that's a good meter? If you need help getting shielded from EMF, if you're experiencing shortness of breath, dehydration, um, blood, coming out of your nose or different places, there's just look up the signs. I've posted them. Oh through body code and emotion code, I can add a shield, as crazy as it sounds, around people. Whoa, Raylene, did you just say what I thought you said? Through body code and emotion code, I can add a shield, as crazy as it sounds, around people that will protect you from EMF as well. Yeah, she did just say that. She can add a shield around you to protect you from EMF using her body code, emotion code, quantum healing stuff. And what is this body code, emotion code, quantum healing? Well, never fear, it's nothing. But people will pay for it. So she's scamming people. This is still gonna work to show you that the Shungite does actually reduce and or eliminate the EMF um, toxicity that you would be getting. Okay, so right here we've got... Oh, code names. I love that game. To get a reading on this, I have to almost touch it to the wall. So this is a cell phone charger. And we can see what the rate is. Gavin, you need to get away from me. Hi. The shungite that he has covers 15 feet. So you have to get across the... Go to the front door right now, please. Oh. You're not following directions. So it's going to throw off the readings. Gavin's will or he's holding Shungite and trying to stand by me when I'm trying to do this. Okay, so we have a reading from, let's hold it here. Okay, Gavin, now you can come and hold the Shungite in between my reader. So you can see it's fluctuating. There's actually nothing plugged into these cords right now, but hold the Shungite in between and we can see that it drops substantially. So this is um, a pyramid. It will cover about 15 feet, and I keep that in my kitchen. And so we have a pretty good reduction. Okay, Gavin, go to the front door now. We'll take the Shungite with you. And then we can see that this is going to go up again. Well, as you can see, 
it was 24 something units. She doesn't know. With the Shungite in between and 87 something units with it out of the way. Well, we wouldn't uh, expect anything different. I suppose that Shungite is a dense material and it's directly in between the source of the uh, EMF and the reader. But she's claiming that it just needs to be in the vicinity. She said that pyramid covers 15 feet. So if that pyramid was on the other side of the reader or two or three or 15 feet away, it should have the same effect. But she didn't show the test with it not in between. She does that for a reason, because it doesn't work. Shungite can't magically cause photons, which is what EMF is. It can't cause photons to redirect themselves and go towards the Shungite. It's not like it's a photon magnet. Nothing like that exists. It doesn't work. So having something as a necklace or a, a bracelet or just sitting on your counter can't protect you unless you're directly on the other side of it and the source of the EMF. It's just snake oil. So I put the Shungite right on the back of my phone where the receiver is at, and that's gonna give you some protection. And it's just a little sticker that you can buy. Oh, here we go, here's Trent's phone. Okay, so let me flip this again. Here, hold it down. So we've got a cell phone here. This is Shungite Trent broke and we glued onto his phone. So let's get a reading on the back side of his iPhone. This is right by the Shungite, so it's still a pretty high reading. Okay, flip the phone over, Garrett. It's on. So this is where most of the radiation comes out on your phone is where the transmitter is. And he's still getting a pretty high reading with the Shungite. Yeah, that demo didn't go too well, did it? It's still reading 4,000 who knows what units. Uh, on the meter, we've even with the Shungite on the phone. <laughs> Oops. Um, well, here's a little trick to know whether or not some uh, EMF shielding sticker works on your phone. If you can still make a phone call, it's not working. That's right. If it blocks EMF, then your phone, which nest, which uses EMF to talk to the cell phone tower, is blocked then your phone wouldn't work. This is the stupidest thing ever. If your piece is not conducting electricity, it's probably carbon. And most people will substitute that as a scam. Well, here's news for you. Shungite is carbon. And it's a scam. And I do body and emotion code. And every single person I've worked on has had dehydration, where they're drinking enough water they're getting enough electrolytes in most cases, but their body is not able to utilize the water or the electrolytes. And what does water have in it? It's H2O, so it has an oxygen molecule. And 5G radiation, if you've researched it in depth, prohibits or inhibits the body's ability to utilize oxygen. Oh, yes, I have researched it in depth. Clearly, you have not, Raylene because there is no part of 5G that does anything to oxygen to prevent it from being uptaken into your system. That's an absolute lie, and you just repeated a lie. I don't know if you wanna call it energetic shield around us protecting us from EMF as well. So before I put that shield on us, I had pretty like steady readings in my whole house on the EMF reader, and now, through most of my house, unless I get really, really close to um, the sources, it comes up as zero. So I know that it's working, especially in the you know spaces between all of those things that put off radiation, because I'm getting a zero reading. And normally it would be at least a 15 or something. And there she goes again about her magical EMF shield that she somehow put on her family. I don't know. That's uh, definitely snake oil. Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, that's the her main thing. She goes off to talk about vitamins and healthy eating. Great stuff for that. But definitely not going to stop EMF from uh, getting to your body by using shungite because it can't magically make the photons be attracted to the shungite. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you are watching this on Planar Walks channel, 
be sure to click the link in the description. Come over to my channel. Um, I debate flat earthers and anti 5G nut jobs uh, pretty much every Tuesday, and I do videos like this and other stuff on the similar topics. If you're watching on my channel, I'm going to put Planar Walk's link in the description. You go over there, hit him up. He's a good guy. We'll see y'all later. Bye. I can add a shield, as crazy as it sounds, around people.